Are you okay, Boruto? Y yeah What are we going to do now, though? She got away. A ninja world, world missing individual memories. memories. In other words, a ninja world without memories is about to be born. What? Who are you? Come with me if you wish to stop this chaos. Guess we check it out. What is this place? There aren't any other players. It seems like a separate place from where we were before. Everything looks like the real world. You're right. Welcome, Welcome to the Time, Time Reservoir. Reservoir. Who are you? I'm Tonori Otsutsuki. You could say that I'm the supervisor of this planet. Otsutsuki? Hold on. Don't tell me that you're with Momoshiki. I'm not like them. I'm here to help you. Help us? Can we trust you? That is up to you. However, you have no way to better this situation right now. That's why, despite your suspicions, you followed me here. Am I right? Boruto? This person really doesn't seem to be an enemy. Yeah. He feels different from them. It's true, we don't have any options. And I guess you seem different. Does that mean you trust me a little? Yeah, but if you do anything funny, I'm gonna... I won't be doing anything. Just offering a bit of help. Rather, there is much I will ask you to do, if we're going to make it through this. About that, is it really possible to stop this chaos? Yes, but it will not be easy. Recovering all of the memories people have built up until now will require a significant amount of time. What's more, the amount of memory that has been lost is astronomical. Normally it would take decades, or even centuries. Then there's really no way. However, there is one thing about this current world in our favor. And that is your father. Naruto Uzumaki. My dad? Although the amount may vary quite significantly, your father is in the memories of nearly everyone alive right now. His power is so great it goes beyond wars, and is accepted by everyone. A power that could only be because he is Naruto Uzumaki. We will be using that. Using what? First, I will have you go back to the past and retrace Naruto's history. You can retrieve his memories there. Go back to the past? How? It is possible if we use this mysterious space's unique properties with the power of Otsutsuki. A book? However, only one person can go to the past. What's more, they will be unable to interfere with any of the events there. If it's the only way, then I guess we just have to do it. If you're able to recover Naruto Uzumaki's memories, 
I will be able to release them. The released memories will spread from him to others. Once they have rippled out far enough, the lights will shine again. And everyone's memories will return. Got it. Although, it seems like it's going to take a while. We should go back and report to my dad first, then. I'd like to go over the situation and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. You should hurry. There's not much time left. You're back. Welcome back, Boruto. Wait, you... Yes, they haven't been affected either. Mom, Dad, everyone went crazy. Just when I was thinking about what to do next, Katasuke came up to me. We heard about everything. We'll be helping you guys too. I mean, the ninja world depends on us after all. So? What happened? I yeah, actually... So you let her get away. Sorry. You can apologize later. We still have things we can do. Focus on that for now. Recovering memories? Seems like we should hurry. We were looking into the situation on this side while you were in the game. The Hidden Leaf Ninja have all left the village and are seconds away from going to war. It's the same with the other villages. They've all taken similar action. Every village is under Merz's mind control. Crazy. We don't have much time. We'll be splitting up into three groups. One will search for Zero's hideout on this side. Another team will return to the other side and begin recovering the memories. Sasuke, let me handle the memories. I'm part of the reason this all happened. And besides... If someone needs to retrace Naruto's history, you're the one most suited to do it. You got it! Sarada and the rest will go search for the hideout. Gather as much information as you can and determine its location. You make it sound so easy. Are we going to be able to find it without any leads? Hmm. My dad always said that you'll be able to find anything you're looking for if you start sifting through the straw. Straw? We know that this Zero organization has been really active lately. That means that they're probably sending out spies, running experiments, or have been doing other things that have brought them to the surface. He said that that's when people get careless and make mistakes. If you can find a mistake, you might be able to catch them by the tail. Where do we start? How about you look into recent missions? If there's any unsolved and suspicious missions, you might find a lead. Missions. Oh. Hey, Sarda, speaking of missions... Right. I just remembered, too. It might be connected. What? What are you talking about? We'll tell you more about it later. Dad, have you used Susanoo in a fight lately? No. Then that place really is suspicious. I think it's worth looking into again. Where are you going, Sasuke? I'm going to slow down Naruto. Once he joins in the war, there will be massive casualties. I'm the only one who can stop him. Take this. It's a communication device. You'll be going to the other side. Please contact us with this as soon as you get back. Thanks. We all have our missions. Let's go. Let's do this. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll give back my dad's memories. Take this, Boruto. The light will likely return if you follow Naruto's memories. 
When that light shines strong, your father's memories are returning. If that happens, I just need to hand it to you, right? Exactly. Okay. Now go to your father. Get back Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Whoa, so I'm going into the past like this? You're going back in time to retrace the memories of Naruto Uzumaki. I'll be your guide. The nine-tailed fox spirit was sealed within your father by the fourth Hokage. And that's where Naruto's memories begin. With nine tails residing within him, Naruto dealt with persecution from the villagers. But in spite of his burden, he stayed strong. Hanging on to a dream to one day become the Hokage. After graduating from the Ninja Academy, Naruto was assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno. The head of Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, held a training session to assess their abilities. Historically speaking, it was nothing more than a trivial competition. But to Naruto, it was his important first step to finding his ninja way. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Did he say test? What? Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genin. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Seeing everything happen like this, could this mean I'm inside my dad's body? That's right. From this point on, you'll experience the life of Naruto Uzumaki, directly from his point of view. This is how you'll collect his memories. I get it, but this feels pretty weird. They're about to start. Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Let's get started. You don't get too scared when you see how tough I am. That's so determined. Being a ninja is quite special to Naruto. It's the first step to achieving his dream after all. Uh, I know what happens after this, since his dream actually comes true. It just reminds me how amazing Dad is. His connection to Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruka will be as soon as he joined Team 7. Back then, Naruto saw Sasuke, an elite student, as his rival, and seemed to have a crush on Sakura. Well, she's a close friend of the family now. Wow. So this is where it all started. Whoa, what the... Your body is... You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually... Don't hold it against me. I had no other choice. I'm on this, Sasuke! Don't hold me back! Yeah. Let me do it. It's the land of waves. In modern times, this spot is known as the Great Naruto Bridge. 
There was a great battle here to prevent the bridge from being built. Team 7 is taking on Team Ninja Hellbent on ending its construction. One is known as Zabuzonochi, and the other is Haku. Haku, who you see fighting now, had a special ability called the Keke Genkai, allowing him to manipulate ice style. So, he becomes a ninja and he's already fighting guys like this? Fighting through life or death situations like these made them strong. On to the next point in time. <laughs> Haku lived as Zabuza's tour. And fight for yourself! No, Ruth, that no. is the definition of strength! You okay? Arise! Thought he was strong. Because he only fought for himself. And he was always alone. That's not what real strength is all about. Yeah. So Dad and Olgara are fighting each other. The clash between two enormous villages, Leaf and Sand, caused the destruction. Gara was the secret weapon that they had said, due to the tailed beast known as Shukaku, sealed within him. Tailed beast? Just like that. Correct. He was in the same situation no, as Naruto, holding a tailed you beast inside okay? and being persecuted by the villagers. Oh, Gara has some killer attacks, huh? At this point in Gara's life, he couldn't trust it. But the one to soften his closely guarded heart was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. This battle goes on forever. Shimaru could make him strong enough to defeat his brother. Sasuke became resentful of Naruto's rapid progress as a ninja, and it pushed him toward that path of darkness. At any rate, Sasuke was greatly troubled, and he made the bigger decision to leave the Naruto was special to Sasuke as well. And those men considered a close friend. But he was willing to sell that connection for revenge, in search of the power he needed to kill his older brother. What did Sasuke have against his brother? Sasuke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To 
think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. What's this? Your collected memories change to light, gathered in a single spot. I get it. So if the light gets strong enough, Dad gets his memory back, right? Correct. Nice. I've got this figured out now. But first, since you've collected all the memories up to this point, you should head back to the Time Reservoir. It seems a fascinating development has begun. Fascinating development? Boruto, changes are happening in this space because you started returning the memories. What do you mean? This place is built on the space this Nanashi girl created. Therefore, her memories are mixed into the crevices of the space. Normally, those memories would not come to the surface. But this space isn't under her control now. That's why they reacted to this space, and her Kiseki appeared. So, if I touch that, I can see Nanashi's past? Whether you do it or not is up to you. However, if you want to know more about her... Of course I'll look. I hardly know anything about her. Yachi Hope, what a splendid ability. You will be our weapon from now on. If we implant other visual jutsu, you can multiply its effects. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying. Crying won't get you anywhere. No. No. No! I think I've seen this. It's something only I saw a while ago. Something really horrible. That was Nanashi's past? The past is getting jumbled together. What you saw before was most likely her letting you in, and her control over the space began to diminish. So that's why only I was able to see it. However, that was enough to understand the awful things she's had to live through. Her Kiseki will appear again. Why don't you get back to what you were working on in the meantime? Yeah, I know. Okay, here goes. Much time had passed since Naruto and Sasuke last saw each other at the Battle of the Final Valley. Naruto returns from his training journey to the Hidden Leaf in high spirits. Team Seven's leader, Kakashi, has Naruto spar with Sakura. Of course, this was to assess how much the two of them had grown. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. There's no way we can live! Alright, watch and learn! So Dad and Sakura really trained their butts off to get Sasuke back. That's how important their connection with Sasuke was to them. It led to a particular need to suffer at some time. And that horrible experience is why he refused to give up on Sasuke. No matter what had become of 
their friendship. Yeah, for sure. I know Dad considers Sasuke a really close friend. Plus, it looks like Dad and Sakura have really grown. Of course it does. It only takes our seconds to witness years added on to their lives. Not that. I mean, sure, they got physically bigger, but it's like... They have way more confidence. The way they move is so different. Are we moving on to the next battle already? tried to convince him. Yes. This guy looks so bloodthirsty. It's freaking me out. Just watching this has me sweating. There was no compassion left anywhere in Sasuke. And he's really trying to kill him. On to the next one. What happened to Dad, Sakura, and Sasuke after that? I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you see me sometime. I'll get you! I guess it's obvious since I know what happens in the future. But Dad gets the win here, right? Why would you think that? Mm, look at him go. Dad wins this fight, hands down. I mean, he's brimming with confidence, and doesn't give off any signs of weakness. Interesting. The relationship with father and son gives you a unique perspective. Although Naruto fell into despair after failing to confuse Sasuke, he could rise to a new level for a reason. Of course, his ninja way played a role. More than anything, he has friends. Friends who support him. Connections built up since childhood that are always there. He worked to build those bonds. Knowing he's not alone must be super encouraging. <laughs> Nature energy or something. Naruto was the village's last hope. 
I never wanted anything to do with Dad. But now, he's their last hope. I'll bring peace with my own hands! Yes! I cannot believe you pushed me this far. I'm really getting fired up here. One deadly struggle after another, Naruto was victorious. During battle, Naruto discovered Nagato, who was actually controlling pain, and they revealed their goals to one another. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from Crisis, and was welcomed by all as the village hero. Once an orphan, living alone, he was now accepted and loved by all. Dad. You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the Time Reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the Time Reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kisaki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! The Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! Everything. Ninja. This world. I hate them all! What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great. So she was sealed away by people who thought she was dangerous. If I were treated unjustly by the Uchiha clan, and every ninja in the world became my enemy, and was imprisoned, I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja in the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There's only so much our hearts can take. This is wrong. Why do we have to fight allied villages? For Lord Meritz. Who is Lord Meritz? The Lord Seventh said the same thing, but I don't get it. We must fight in order to realize Lord Meritz's ideals.
Don't get in our way. I'll do whatever it takes to stop you from fighting. How futile. Stopping me won't stop the war. What you're doing is meaningless. We'll see about that. The ninja from each village have arrived at the battlefield. The battle should begin shortly. So brittle. To have such a bond so easily broken. <laughs> Lord Pain. No, Pain. The reign of power you envisioned will finally be realized. However, its vanguard will not be you who passed away. But me. I wonder how things are going for Sarada and Mitsuki. I'm worried about Sasuke too. Wait, I need to focus on my own mission. After the battle with Pain, the ninja world began a significant shift. The Akatsuki and Madara Uchiha declared war on the ninja world in a bid to attain the tailed beasts. And Sasuke, still trapped in the depths of darkness, moved to action as well. He was hell-bent on the destruction of the Hidden Leaf and the restoration of his clan. Huh? But why? I thought Sasuke wanted to kill his older brother. The ugly details of life are often kept hidden. Sasuke learned that what he was told about Itachi was false. He set out to crush the Hidden Leaf and to kill the Hokage. And there to meet him was none other than Naruto who had no intention of abandoning his friendship with Sasuke. Sasuke! You... Too slow. Sasuke looks... more cold and lifeless than before. He believed his brother was the enemy, and finally took his revenge. But then realized it was all manufactured by the hidden man. And then, Itachi loved his younger brother. The hidden leaf had distorted the truth. For that, Sasuke could never forgive them. This is why he set out to kill the Hokage. This was no different than putting a sword to the throat of the ninja world. Mother Uchiha was manipulating Sasuke, and it set him off the sea. Let's move on to the next point in time. Like this. You better defeat me. Quickly! Yeah, no kidding. You'll be swift bullet! Oh, I'm in two. Let's do this, Naruto. Uh, whoa! Why does Dad look like that? For the war, he obtained a jutsu that allowed him to harness the power of Nine Tails. Seriously? So he's finally able to use Nine Tails here. They're getting stronger by the minute, Dad. He did grow stronger. But his opponent was a ninja, even more powerful than he. I guess you're talking about that Naruto guy who controlled Pain, right? 
I've heard about powerful ninja being resurrected with a reanimation jutsu during the fourth great ninja war. Seeing it happen right in front of me like this is crazy. Nagato was a powerful ninja, with the Sage of the Six Paths at his disposal. But Naruto had an encouraging power at his side. Itachi Uchiha. Itachi was brought back by reanimation, and he was able to break away from the Jutsu's power. Let's move on to the next one. In the midst of Fighting Naruto and the others was nothing more than Madara. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous hero. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single, endless dream. Kids look up to heroes! So I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way! Take with me, Kurama! Kill me, planetary Rasen Shuriken! I'm gonna become the best Tokage there's ever been! Take it down! That's my dream, idiot! So, he's the fake Madara, right? So, the real Madara is Madara, and the fake Madara is Toby. This is kind of making my head spin. Anyway, now that Dad looks like that, is he maybe gonna... In the midst of a desperate struggle, Naruto gradually came to communicate with Nine Tails. Or, Kurama, rather. Once they had finally reconciled, Naruto acquired full control of Kurama's power. Seek with me, Kurama! I'm gonna defeat you and end this war! He'll be planetary Rasen Shuriken! And I'm gonna enjoy ripping that mask off of you! Yeah. What does he look like on a new car? Now! 